Hello, and welcome on a new episode of today's analysis. Now, on the 20th episode, I am going to analyze none other than Grimelda Grizzly, the main antagonist of the 2019 film, How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, and overall, the overarching antagonist of the entire franchise. The most diabolical villain of the franchise, and formally recognized as DreamWorks' most evil villain before being surpassed by Big Jack Horner in 2023, Grimel is the most dangerous and most diabolical villain that Haikop and his friends ever came to be, and a dark reflection of what he could have become. In this episode, we are going to analyze all the information given about him from the film, and let's analyze his journey from a simple boy, much like Haikop once was, to the diabolical genocidal poacher that he has ultimately become. Now, without further ado, let's begin. Now, why exactly when and where Grimel was born is completely unknown, but yet the events of the franchise are confirmed to take place in 700 AD, and Grimel is confirmed to be 55 years old at the time of his death. Nevertheless, when he was a boy, he found a night fury in the forest in a vulnerable state, and instead of befriending like Hycob did, or at least to engage with it into a fair fight, Grimel killed it where he slept, and this simple act of courage made him a hero to his village. And thus, Grimel dedicated the rest of his days to exterminate all the dragons, to save humanity from evil. And eventually, by all means, Grimel somewhat succeeded in eradicating almost all the Night Furies in existence, leaving all, only one member alive, Toothless, who will later take shelter with Hycop in Burke. Nevertheless, hopes Grimel actually succeeding in exterminating an entire subspecies of dragons is completely unknown. But still, he could have easily used other dragons that he managed to brainwash, like the dead creepers, in order to help him to do so. Yet still, his actions caused him to be considered a hero by a number of folks, and he eventually even came in contact with Drago Bloodfist, given the fact that he wore a Night Fury cape into the second film, as well as with Stoic the Vast, who he came in great to respect. Yet nevertheless, that respect might have not been 100% true, given the fact that he mocked him later on. Nevertheless, his plans to eradicate all dragons came to a halt with the resurgence of Haikup and the dragon riders in Burke. Now, one year following Drago's defeat, Haikup was eventually hired by the warlords to capture the last night Fury Toothless, who was left even Grimel shocked for the fact that one member of the said species managed to actually survive him in his genocide, as he wished to kill Toothless in order to finish his genocide, and he falsely promised to the warlords that he will give the dragon to them, and in order for him to capture him, he needed a light fury, the distant cousin of the night furies, in order to bait Toothless and make him to fall in love. Yet nevertheless, Haikup, the new chief of Burke, proved to be even far more better and more competent adversary than even Grimel could imagine, given the fact that he sees himself in him, or better say, an alternate version of him, of what he could have become had he spared that Night Fury to begin with. Nevertheless, Grimel tried numerous times to kill Haikup and Toothless, as well as to keep on all the dragon riders for good. And only when he separated Haikup from the rest of the group, he revealed to him his backstory and hinted that he is a dark reflection of him. Now, before we go any further, we all should stop and ask ourselves, is Grimel evil? Now, I know that this question might seem useless, but it should be noted that Grimel claims that everything he does is simply to protect humanity from dragons and to bring real peace to the people of this world. Now, is, you can't entirely blame a person for wanting peace, and especially the, uh, into a world uh, there is con constant conflict between two species, like how to train your dragon. However, peace is only by his twisted standards, as it's likely that Grimel is fully aware that his dragons are actually sentient beings, yet he simply doesn't care. Not to mention that he is, represents an evil version of Haikup, and showing what he could have become had he killed Toothless in the first film. By sparing Toothless, Haikup walked the path of pure good. By killing the Night Fury, Grimel went on the path of pure evil. So of course, at the end of the day, the answer to the question is definitely yes. Grimel is evil. He is nothing more than pure evil. And he, by obtaining Toothless, he betrayed the, the warlords and decided to kill the last Night Fury to finally finish his genocide for good. Yet ultimately, Grimel finally met his own undoing when Haikup ultimately proved to him wrong. Humans and dragons can coexist, as given the fact that the Light Fury chose to save Haikup and let Grimel to fall to his death in the ocean. But in the end, Grimel kind of won it, given the fact that all the dragons moved into the hidden world and they will remain there likely forever. Given the fact that Haikup realized that as long as they are considered existent, 
there will always be a danger because of humanity, and eventually resulted in Toothless and all the dragons from Burke, and likely from all the dragons from the Archipelag, and likely from everywhere we know in throughout this franchise, and eventually all moved to the hidden world, where they will remain there likely forever, and thus Grimmel's dark desire for a world without dragons has all but come true, but not in the way he expected, as even now, in our days, we consider dragons a myth, despite the fact that we, no one has seen one for the past 1300 years, as he's claiming the dragons the Nine Realms. But in the end, who was Grimel the Grizzly? He was nothing more but a genocidal poacher who wanted peace at the cost of an entire species, a monster that would desire to exterminate another species to do his twisted desire, to do his twisted views, and a monster that could be easily called as one of the most realistic and most diabolical villains in all animation. Thank you all for turning this new episode into this analysis. Please don't forget to give a like and subscribe and put your comments down below. Have a nice day. Oh, isn't this fun? Yes?